to my channel. It's your absolute favorite, Chef Fregs. I am so delighted that you came all the way from wherever you are. You use your data, you use your Wi-Fi to be watching me. I appreciate and I love you so much. Love you so much. Why? Because in case you're also new here, this is your first time, or maybe you've been here before and you've not hit the subscribe button, you've not hit the bell notification button. Why are you wasting your time? Oh yeah, do the need for. This is Frags at Home, where life is good with LG, where we teach you how to become the best cook you can be, where I want to show you secrets of how to build flavor, all right? You go from zero to hero when it comes to your food and learn how to enjoy yourself in the kitchen and just build delicious, delicious flavor and food. So speaking of enjoyment and delicious flavor, let's start off with this delicious fish taco recipe that I promise is going to be the best thing you've ever done in a while. So I have some white fish here. I've asked my fishmonger to just skin it for me, all right? Sometimes I don't do it myself, yes, it's fine. Especially for you. Maybe you're a home cook, just buy some nice fresh fillets from your fishmonger. And I'm just gonna cut it into some strips, okay? I'm using shiny nose fish. You can use whatever fi white fish you want. I'm not even going to bother to clean it up because this is not Chef Fregs. This is Fregs at home. Great. I'm gonna pop it in a bowl because we're gonna marinate it in a delicious yogurt marinade. So I have to grab for yogurt. I'm using some Greek here. I'm gonna pop it from my Insta view. You don't have to use Greek yogurt. You can use just regular, nice cultured, plain yogurt, but it has to be plain. Don't get, don't have to put vanilla in your fish. Just gonna do that much in there. To this, some salt, some adobo. Adobo is a really nice all-purpose blend. Then we have coriander root here. Coriander root is the root of this lovely coriander herb. The stems, you can use just the stems, or we use the roots and some of the stems. I'm gonna go with about two tablespoons because I really like it. I like the flavor. I'm going to go in with a bit of smoked paprika. I'm going to go in with all of this green chili. Another teaspoon or so of turmeric. Some ginger and garlic. Maybe a bit more garlic than ginger. Could help in of black pepper. Pinch of oil. It's just to loosen things up there splash of lime juice, teeny weeny bit of soy. It just helps bring an umami flavor to the fish. And we are going to mix this. Loosen this up with a bit of water in case your yogurt is that thick. I'm actually going to put a bit more coriander. And don't worry if you think it's not salty enough, you can cook one piece of fish and just to taste how it is. But we're also going to do a salad that is marinated and an avocado sauce, so I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to pop this marinade and all straight. If your marinade is a little more running with the yogurt you use, take off the excess, all right? So I'm going to just lay this all down in my baking dish. And I'm just going to set this aside and bake later. So allow this to marinate for about 15 minutes minimum. Overnight for fish may be excessive. You can do this with chicken instead or even prawns overnight. Or if you did it with fish overnight in your fridge, it's also fine. But 30 minutes maximum, an hour, it's fine. So the fish is marinating jelly, jelly just doing his own thing. Get you know, really accustomed to all those flavors. And I like that yogurt break it down. And in the meantime, I'm going to be making the flatbread. So this is how to make the flatbread. In goes your flour. Make it well in the middle. Add your oil. Add your pinch of salt. Add your baking powder for a bit of lift. Garlic for flavor. This is optional, you don't have to. Give that a good mix at first. So we're going to go in with the yogurt. It's 
small splash of water. So you mix, tip over on your surface. So bring all together. Don't try to knead it so much and don't worry if it doesn't all kind of come together. How you guys see that the dough is coming together better? We're just going to rest the dough now for five minutes. Back where we started. I'm just going to put it behind, clean my hands. And we're going to pop our fish in the oven. So this is the fish. It's ready to go into the oven, into our beautiful high-speed convection LG oven. Now, this oven has been preheating at about 130. I've cracked it up to 180 degrees Celsius. And that's going to be in there for about 10 minutes. This oven is the real deal. And it's not just because LG, like life is really good with LG like that with this oven, okay? It's time to make our flatbread. It's gonna take the same time as it is to cook the fish. So grill pan is on. You don't have to use a grill pan. You can just use whatever heavy base pan you have. Tipping out the dough here. And I'm going to cut it up a bit actually, just to make it easier for me to work with. All right. Now, just the tiniest bit of flour. You don't actually need a lot. Now just always make sure that you're turning your dough around as you go. Now, honestly, when I made this recipe or when I make it at home, I don't bother with making it look cute, but I'll do it for you guys today. I'm gonna to give it a little trim around the edges. And me, I'm not even going to waste time. Straight to the cooking, man. So, like so. Make sure it's all even, it's not too thin. It has a little thickness to it. So about, maybe like five mm. So I'm just gonna trim off the edges in some sort of circular manner. Again, you don't have to do this, honestly speaking. But just because, Chef Riggs. So grab that off. So I'm gonna grab a brush and some oil. You can do melted butter, but everything else is like really rich. So just brush some, just a light bit of oil on one side. Grab that very hot griddle pan that's on full, 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 full whack. And we continue. I'll just have my tongs on standby and pop that on my board. And we continue making the rest. Oopsie. Look at that. So we have the fish out of the oven. That's looking beautiful. And we're going to now make our avocado sauce real quick. I have a super ripe avocado here, like super soft kind of situation. I'm gonna twist that open. Has a little bit of scraggly bits inside. We're just going to take that off. And into the bowl with the avocado, I've been loosened some yogurt from the marinade earlier, the one we used for the marinade earlier. I'm adding a bit to that. I'm going to grab some black pepper, two pinches actually. Touch of apple cider vinegar, just a touch. Generous pinch salt. Then we're going to go for some lemon zest. And of course, some lemon juice. Just going to put that actually. I didn't cut too much the first time, did I?
just enough lemon juice to give it a good kick. We'll use the rest for the dish, you'll see. So just gonna grab the spoon. Before I forget, some garlic. And give it a mix. You can do this in a blender, a hand blender, but this is just really simple. Give, let's give that a taste. Put a pinch more salt. Don't worry, I will not lie and tell you that it's sweet when it's not. This is fine by me. Now we're going to make our salad. Now, honestly speaking, with this salad, you may want to just kind of put all these things around for your, on your dinner plate and just allow people pick and put the dressing straight on and maybe make the dressing a little more concentrated. But, 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 I recommend that you throw in your onions, all right? Most of your radish. A tiny bit of your purple cabbage. I'll tell you why, because purple cabbage tends to run when it gets in touch with even water, acid or salt. I'm going to season it a tiny bit with some salt. Throw in a touch of apple vinegar. Generous helping of black pepper. I have some Chinese cucumbers. Cut them like this, you may want to, but I'm going to use the slices the julienne slices, some fresh tomato. Now the tomato juice is gonna help like make your dressing. I have some coriander here. I'm not even bothering going to chop it or anything. I'm just going to tear it in. And I'm gonna put the rest of the garlic in here. Okay. I'm gonna give that a mix. Now, if you want, you could just maybe toss everything together. That alone with some chicken breast, some grilled chicken breast. Maybe we'll do a, I'll do a recipe like that for you guys soon. And this is a to go salad already, you know, on its own. You may also go in with your hands and toss, but you know, you hand police on the internet. I just feel now. But give it a tossing, give it a tossing. In your kitchen, it's your food, give it a toss, give it some love. All right. I also have the, the flatbreads just warming up in the oven. The oven is off, but the residual heat is fine. And it's time to assemble. So this is my recommendation on how to serve. I'm going to grab the board. I'm going to just Get that here now. So this is what I recommend. Let me grab a knife. The rest of the lemon we used, just gonna cut it up right on the board that we're going to use to serve. Take out that middle bit. All right. This has some juice actually. I'm gonna squeeze it in here. Can't waste. So I'm just gonna put this lemons to one corner. Then I'm going to grab another bowl. Maybe I chuck it here. Pop this in. Oh God, it smells really awesome already. So I'm gonna move the sauce here. I'm gonna grab some of the flat bread. And I'm actually just gonna cut it into quarter, into halves. So that it looks like it's a bit more than it already is. And you can serve it in a really nice way. I'll grab some more to make the plate even fuller. And the thing about this flatbread dish, you can really truly make it your own because you can, you can do all sorts. You can make any dip that you want. But the idea is you understand that this is like communal food. So now remember I said I wouldn't kind of mix everything in. I'm going to throw some on here for color, some more radish on here. 
the final crowning of green royal jewels would be this some more coriander okay and finally i'm just going to grab the fish and just nestle it in there There goes the avocado yogurt sauce. Perfect tying together for this dish. So this is it guys, my fish flatbreads ready to go. I think this is the best way to serve it. It's very communal. This is perfect for like a Friday night, games night. You know, you and your family just wanna chill. You just wanna do, you know, small chops, but you wanna do it on an elevated level. I think it's an amazing way to do it. And um, this, you can maybe do a board like this and send it to your neighbor. You know, happy birthday. So I'm just putting some fish on here. Again, you don't have to cut this, all right? I was feeling nice. And I'm just going to grab some sauce. Oh, gosh. I love my job. I love my life. Put some veg on here. I'll just put that on. Have a little bit of lemon. Just a tiny bit. My wife always says, Boy, me, what does the lemon do? I said it gives it flavor, gives it ginger. All right, taste test. Oh, look at the colors. I'm anticipating the deliciousness. Mm. The spiciness of the chili. Then it hits you with the creaminess of the avocado dressing with the yogurt, it kind of cools and it's hot. And all those spices, the freshness and the zest from the lemon juice and the freshness of the vegetables. Then that lovely bread texture and those grill marks, they're not just for decoration. That kind of burnt flavor gives you that smoky flavor as well. It really adds to the dish. Guys, this is perfect. You must try this recipe. And I beg you to actually try this like this before you actually experiment. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends, family, and even your enemies. Because this is Frank's at Home, where life is good with LG, and I teach you how to be a better cook. So see you at the next video. And I'm going to eat more of this thing because I have to do, I have to post for people on camera. I cannot wait to devour this thing by myself. Bam.